Hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So in this video I am going to show you how to add a hyperlink or uh, multiple hyperlinks within your text. For that purpose uh, I have created uh, one uh, dedicated composable function which uh, I am going to show you in a moment. So first in this uh, Android emulator we can see one uh, basic example. So here we have some text and uh, two hyperlinks. So whenever we click this uh, first one it will open up a web page uh, which is actually my website and whenever we click on this uh, second one it will just uh, open up the Google web page okay so that's how it actually works and now that you know how this uh, will actually work now let me show you the actual composable function which uh, I have created so the composable function is uh, called the hyperlink text and uh, it accepts uh, multiple parameters so the first parameter is of course a modifier the next parameter is a full text, so it is important that we pass the full text uh, which we want to display here uh, on our screen, along with uh, those uh, two uh, hyperlinks text as well. Then down below we have a, a link text parameter, so this is actually a list of strings, and here we are uh, basically specifying two strings inside a list, and uh, each one of those uh, strings needs to represent the actual hyperlink within this uh, full text. So as you can see here I have written the same thing, so privacy policy, like I already have written right here, and the terms of use, like uh, I already have right there. Uh, the next parameter here is a link uh, text color, so the color basically of our uh, hyperlink. A default value is a color blue, but you can change that. Uh, the next parameter here is a link uh, text uh, font weight. So this is the actual uh, font weight uh, of this uh, a hyperlink and a default value is a font weight a medium but uh, you can change that uh, anyhow next we have a link uh, text decoration so I have added here uh, underline decoration for those uh, hyperlinks but uh, you can remove that by specifying here for example uh, none there you go but a default value is uh, underline uh, next we have a hyperlinks so this is actually a list of strings and here we have specified all those links which we want to embed uh, into our uh, text so the important thing here to note is the actual order of those links so for example if you want to uh, embed this link to this uh, terms of use then you should place this link uh, a second in this list okay because the first item in this list will apply the first link in this list okay so that's order is important in this case and the last parameter here is the font size so this uh, font size uh, will be applied to both uh, a hyperlink and the rest of the text uh, anyhow let me just uh, show you down below this uh, code so so here we are building one uh, annotated string and the first thing which we are doing we are appending or adding the full text so we are basically displaying the full text which we have passed to this function and then for each uh, a link uh, in our uh, link text uh, list we are calling this uh, for each uh, indexed uh, function and then we are calculating the start and end index of the actual hyperlink so after we calculate those two uh, then i'm just uh, adding here a style for those uh, hyperlinks so basically i'm specifying the color of that uh, hyperlink uh, text decoration a uh, font size and a uh, font weight as well and of course uh, here I'm passing the actual start and the uh, end index of the text that I want to apply uh, this uh, style. And uh, after that in this uh, for each index loop I'm also calling this uh, add string annotation so that I can add that uh, URL to that uh, text or that uh, hyperlink. So for the annotation here I have just uh, called this uh, hyperlinks uh, list which contains those links and I have passed this uh, index value from this uh, for each uh, index loop okay so after this uh, for each index i'm adding uh, one more style and that style is actually applied to the whole text so the reason why is because uh, i want to apply the same uh, font size to both uh, those uh, hyperlinks and to the rest of the text as well anyhow after all of that i'm here uh, calling a clickable text composable function i am passing that uh, annotated string which we have made right here i am passing the modifier and i'm calling this uh, on click lambda to which uh, I'm passing our annotated string and I'm calling this a uh, get string annotation function so that uh, I can actually open up that uh, URL whenever we click that text okay so that's basically how our custom hyperlink text composable function will actually work so this composable function will allow us to add uh, as many hyperlinks uh, as we need 
So uh, those uh, three parameters uh, are uh, mandatory and this uh, fourth one is not. So if we don't pass this um, uh, font size, then the regular and default value of our font size text will be this one. So it will be small, of course, but I have just increased the font size for the demonstration purposes. Anyhow, now you have seen that this uh, composable function works uh, perfectly fine with uh, multiple uh, hyperlinks. So uh, be sure to comment down below and uh, like this video if you find it uh, helpful, of course. And uh, see the next one.